The darker green that you see here is the flood watch, and a lot of these places have received a whole lot of rain. When we look at the estimates for the past 12 hours alone, especially uh, right over to Lawton, Elk City, Woodward, a lot of these spots all the way over to almost to Lubbock, just north of there, have received with the orange three to five inches of rain. That is just for the past 12 hours. Some of these areas have received a couple of inches in just a few hours and will do so again. So we do have a flash flood warning for Custer County just outside of Weatherford here. A lot of the heavy rain down to the south and some of those rainfall totals have been pretty impressive. Again, one to two inches of rain in the past hour. We'll add another one to two inches of rain in the next hour. So it's coming down quickly in a short amount of time. Now, when we talk about the chance for some severe weather with talking about the winds, the hail and yes, tornadoes possible. This extends from Paducah to Little Rock, Wichita Falls, Lubbock, Midland, Fort De uh, Davis throughout the day today. And a lot of it will happen once the sun goes down. So a lot of this is afternoon and evening into the early morning hours. Notice it's not a line. It's a lot of clusters everywhere from Joplin to Fort Smith, Oklahoma City, Fort Davis to Midland over to Rio Doso. This corner starts to fire off as we go closer to five, six and seven o'clock. One of the concerns over in portions of New Mexico into West Texas is it's still dry. Drought conditions could see some lightning and not a lot of rain in New Mexico. Meantime, you get to Midland, the rain's coming down. It's coming down hard. We're watching for some hail here as well. As these storms continue to move off to the east, Oklahoma City, Fort Smith, Little Rock through 6 o'clock early tomorrow morning. Sun's coming up. And yes, you could have the chance for some of those gusty winds from some of those clusters. And we're talking 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts. So if you're traveling, maybe you're moving, you've got high profile vehicles, something to watch. Bring the cars in tonight, Amy, because that large hill obviously could do some damage to the cars out there. Put them in the garage if you can this evening. When we go to the northeast, the primary th threat there is going to be damaging winds. Syracuse, New York, high of 83 for you today, already overcast and very, very humid. Some of the storms that do develop in places like Syracuse could produce some small hail. But uh, as we look at the threats here, looking uh, for a level two threat right along Lake Ontario, stretching into central New York and portions of northern Pennsylvania also included in this northwest New Jersey, you've got to be on alert for these big storms coming through as well. Um, just north of Watertown, heavy downpours all morning. Those have extended south along 81, just north of Syracuse. So another round of downpours are expected through the lunch hour. That includes from Alexandria Bay down to Carthage. Through the afternoon, storms will be threatening. Some of the areas just north and west of Watertown start to see a pickup in the intensity of the storms after 4 o'clock. But we're really looking at this entire region, uh, really on the east and west side of I-81. You can stretch that all the way from Canton down to Pulaski, where these storms will continue on and off until 8 o'clock tonight at least. Thursday, the threat of severe weather will move into South Jersey, Philadelphia, Mainline, uh, D.C., all the way down to the Delmarva, Richmond, Virginia, also included in this. It's possible that those level 2 storms could produce severe wind, hail, but drenching downpours through the Tennessee River Valley could be a lot of trouble. DC, here's how we played out for you. Today, upper 80s, but tomorrow the storms get going again, and there's an entire region here over the Delmarva extending into the Tennessee River Valley where flash flooding will be a concern. So be on alert for this tomorrow. If you can adjust your plans or if you're going to be traveling, make sure that you know that water could be an issue as you travel. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.